I came to the student conference this year because I felt like it was a great way to network with other students across the country who obviously have the same interest in optometry. I wanted to meet the top people in our field, the specialists who've done what they wanted to do to achieve their goals. There's a lot that you can learn, there's loads of things that we don't get taught at uni, skills and other things um, that you learn and it, also it's a lot of fun. I think highlight for me personally was gaining a different outlook on specific clinical skills, so looking at them from a different angle that I wouldn't have done normally. A clue then from habitual vision, so if somebody's minus three and you've measured unaided, it doesn't help you much if they're 636 or 660, you don't really know how close their glasses are, but if they're 65 with their old specs, you know you're pretty close. So if you're adding two diopters, you're probably wrong. Worth going back and thinking about that again to see if you've got it right. The highlight, yesterday's gala dinner and also um, Sarah Morgan, <laughs> she was brilliant. <laughs> When fees were high and life worth living I dreamed the GOS would never die It was nice to learn more about what pre-reg would be like because we were left kind of in the dark about it during third year so that was really useful. So overall in my first month um, I was dispensing more than I was testing. I was testing uh, probably about once, once a week and uh, the time slot that I was given was an hour for each patient. So it was settling into the working environment that was um, the, the biggest adaptation for me. I think the CV tour that we've just had was really helpful because there's obviously a lot of variation on what should and shouldn't be done so it's been quite helpful to have that talk. The hospital pre-reg chat, I thought that was really, really important. In the hospital, we see the weird and the wonderful. So anything that's not seen in general practice tends to be shipped into us. Um, and we've got more chair time. You have half an hour typically just to do the refraction part of your sight test. I think the highlight has been the lectures, the talks, and sort of the push from the lecturers like, oh, you need to do this. You know it in your head, but just getting that little push is amazing. Have you considered and planned for these effects of disruptive change? The fact that you're here today suggests to me that you're of the most proactive in the cohort for this year. Sarah Morgan, she's been great. She's a great speaker. Her keynote lecture was great and also her talk on communication was really good too. The way in which they talk about their glasses, often they'll refer to their distance glasses as, well, these are the ones that I use for seeing. I thought it would be a really good way to meet people from different universities and I was also really attracted by the tutorials that were offered. The number one thing is networking. These are the people who are going to employ you. These are the people who are going to judge whether you know you get your you know chosen pre-reg. I think it's a must for second year students who just learn more about the pre-reg program, you know more aspects of optometry. It's a great opportunity no matter what year you're in. There's definitely benefits for every single year. And if you definitely want to progress in your career, I 100% recommend it.